Hello, subscribers. Welcome to a live stream of AD&D Champions of Kren. So, Iron Man, of course, we're on part 10 of this play. Well, technically, I had a party wipe probably around part 5 or so. So, so this is the second party. We're much farther along. So, hopefully, this one will be a success. Time will tell. Okay, journal entry 74. Word two. It is tail, maybe? It's kind of weird when there's a header. Yeah, it was. It was the header. Oh, that's right. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, this, this was a really dangerous area. Um, I need to heal and get out of here. And come back. I was getting my butt kicked. I can't rest here. Keep getting encountered. I'm going to go ahead and cast a prayer while I'm here. See if we can sneak out of here. Let's see, we're not invisible. Do I have anything else I can cast? Bless. It's only going to last a few steps. Okay, here we go. Can we get out of here? Oh! We're not invisible. So what do we got? Luckily, no casters. Oh, man, these are hard, though really hard uh hey says Tam, welcome to the stream how are you doing tonight i really don't have much to work with here i do have a wand of ice storm which i'm most certainly going to use how far away 13 we need to get closer all right Let's see, who are we going to target? Do it right in the middle. Okay, what else do we have? We do have a charm person. That would be great if I could get that to work. It's not very likely. Oh, yes, it worked. That's going to be very, very helpful. Because that guy's going to be a distraction. That's awesome. Okay, where is my guy? Right there. Okay. Let's cast this here. Then. Nice. Okay, you don't really have anything to use here. I'd like to attack this guy ah try a magic missile on it's magic resistant okay this guy's armor class is higher we'll go for him There we go. Okay, we did some decent damage. Okay. I'm out of whole persons. Let's do a yell. Could be helpful here. Hey, Mr. Spock, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Woohoo, more champions, he says. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of this area without dying. Because I had forgotten that I was in the middle of this. Trying to get out of this town and get my butt kicked. Out of spells, can't rest. Really, really dangerous. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Oh, I have the wand equipped. I'm like, why can I not attack? Luckily, I was able to charm one of them. That helps a lot. Sleep's not going to work. You have some magic user scrolls. Let's see what's on them. Ooh, a hold person. Charm monsters. I'm going to do a whole person here. I have two of them. Let's target the ones with the most hit points. Oh, yeah, that's right. A magic user's whole person hits uh, four instead of three. Hey there, how magic? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ah, Bo's here. Welcome, Bo. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. 45 minutes of joy with D Forte, huh, Maddox? <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of here alive. Looking pretty good. Old person helped tremendously. All right, she's out of spells. Don't need to waste those. Is there anybody else helpless? No. These guys are hard to hit. Glad you're doing good, Bo. Yeah, I'm doing great. Mr. Spock's doing well. Glad to hear that. I'm at it's very sleepy. <laughs> That's understandable considering it's, what, almost 1 a.m. for you or something like that. But you are super tired. Okay, I'm having a hard time hitting these guys. I'm going to move my cleric down here just so that I have a 50% chance of her taking a hit. This crusher is kind of getting his butt kicked right now. 106 for Hom, wow. That's late. Or early, I guess, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Stan says, I'm going to load Windows 7 on a PC. Oh, nice. Good choice. So a physical PC, not, uh, not a virtual machine. Uh, actually, let's do a magic missile so we won't miss. Yeah, there we go. One left. And let's hope I don't get another encounter. I can't handle it. I got to make it all the way out of here without another encounter. Oh, that's not good, guys. STM says, yeah, need a PC for video capturing. Ah, okay, gotcha. I do have potions of healing, I think, somewhere. Let me find that. I really need to give one. 
Okay, Crusher already has one. Just in case. Let's get him healed up because I do not need him to go down. Let's hope that's enough to get out of here. No. No. Oh. Oh, it's even worse. They have clerics this time. This is not good. I'm going to have to use one of these. We're going to use fear. Oh, nice. That's Sivax running. Evil Curate's running. Three of them. Okay, that'll be helpful. Let's see if we can hit this cleric. Before he holds us and kills us. Alright. Come on, Crusher. You can do this. Oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, this is my weaker fighter. This is okay. There. Okay. Nice. Thanks, Mr. Spock. I'm going to need it. Unless you were talking to Sastan. <laughs> he says, good luck. Of course, Internet Explorer. <laughs> Maddox says, oh, man. Yeah. I guess Netscape Navigator was dead by the time Windows 7 came out, wasn't it? Bo says, I've acquired a few generation of laptops to allow gaming DOS, Windows 3.1, 98. Wow, nice. Feels great to use period-specific hardware, Bo says. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, LOL, you, but maybe Sadstam as well. Nah, Sadstam won't need any luck. I do, but he won't. Okay, we're definitely going to use the Wand of Ice Storm here. I just... Yeah, I'm going to die if I don't. Alright, let's see. Where am I going to target this? That's pretty good right there. That thing's got to be getting low on charges. Let's see. Fumble. Oh, it's such a useless spell. Fumble. Yeah, I do have another old person. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. I was saving it to scribe, but this is just too dangerous. That guy's gonna run. None of them are full health. This one is One out of four. Okay, I think Bo's, yeah, he's my heavy hitter. 21 strength. Wait till he gets two attacks. He's just going to tear things up. Fox, but we sent a whole army. Yeah, again. I already fought the army, and now I'm fighting it again. I'm says the game adapts. <laughs> oh. Four damage. Wow, that was weak. Okay, Crusher, you're a little bit injured, so I'm actually not going to have you move forward. Let's 
have to use a bow. Sleep's not gonna work. I really don't want to use charm monsters. Eh, step back. You know, to be honest though, he only has 29 hit points. I think I will move you in. And these guys are hard to hit. Kind of got bad positioning to use the wand, so I think I'll just switch my hoop pack. Okay, good. The Sivak actually got away. So we won't have to deal with them. Hopefully the cleric will get away too. Fear spells really helped. Nice. Champion got blocked, couldn't run. Still there? He is. I guess he's just trying to run and can't get out. Yeah, he can't get away. Okay, I think we're okay. Assuming we don't get another encounter like this. I feel this area is a bit too hard for me right now. Let's pick that guy out before his hold wears off. Mr. Spock says, designing a game to get smarter every time you play it sounds scary. Champions of Kryn <laughs> has become software. Yeah, use a neural net AD&D game. Oh, there comes the cleric. Yeah, we need to deal with him. Or he's going to end up charming us, or uh, holding us. Got him. So fear lasted about, what, five rounds? Six, maybe, something like that? Well, that guy doesn't know how to reach us. the only one? Yes, he is. Bo, it's up to you. Oh, he missed. Usually these guys surrender when there's only one of them. This guy's being stubborn. There he goes, okay. 1100. Nothing magical. Okay, we gotta get to over here to get out of here. Let's hope we can make it happen without getting encountered. Are you kidding me? Two steps, guys. Two steps. And we got encountered. I'm Attic says the movie War Games is older, right? Yeah, it's an 80s movie. Matthew Broderick, I think, is in that. Well, it's a little less, but still 
Still a lot of them. Ugh. Okay, Cleric is to go. I sure hope he has at least two charges in this wand. Yeah, Ugg is right, man. At least one more charge here. That will hit those guys. Pretty injured now. I'm Attic says so. They pro the programmers could have learned from the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun, cheesy movie. Ice wand, save the day, guys. Oh, it's gone. Oh, the wand's gone. Well, considering I only took two steps and then got encountered, there's a chance that I'm going to get another encounter. Ooh, Thunder's almost dead. You have a potion of healing? No, you don't. Three light wounds. He would have just went down there. Mr. Spock says, I hope you're you at least get a lot of experience for these encounters. No, we're not. We get a thousand experience. That's it. They are not rewarding. Totally out of spells. 900 experience. Junk. Look at that. I just have a few steps to go. Come on. You see a very large force of draconians. You realize there are way too many of them. Run away. You lose them in an alley. Wow. Really? Really, game? So here I'm making a run for it, trying to get out of here. And make it all the way to the gate. Oh, there's a huge force just right there by the gate. Bo says, this is a JRPG territory of encounters. <laughs> it is. And I can't rest here. I've tried to rest. It doesn't work. Mr. Spock says, I kind of want to see that fight, but not in your current condition. Yeah, I would get decimated immediately. It, this is a crapshoot. I The only thing I can try to do here is memorize my spells and see if I can rest here. I couldn't rest anywhere else. So I'm not getting my hopes up that it's going to work. But I have no choice. I really don't. I am just down to the bone here. Let's see. Prayer special spells bless charm cure 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 persons it's 
thinking cloud person and I can't sleep any of these either because uh, they're too high a level so moment of truth I can almost guarantee you when I do this fix command here that I'm gonna get encountered see how many spells I can get before then I had like a handful of spells and they're low level spells so yeah I'm screwed every time it's an entire army I have no way of surviving this hey there Jartza welcome to the stream how are you doing he wants to know how to play Warcraft 2 beyond the dark portal on a modern PC uh, have you looked into VMware where you can just install it on a virtual machine and play that way <laughs> Mr. Spock says, I believe in you. Foolishly. <laughs> yeah. I might be able to do this battle, just this one battle, but uh, I'm really out of resources here. Totally out of resources. All right, let's try to charm. I'm having to waste all my spells I was trying to save. Didn't work. Charm Monster didn't work on a single target. I'm out of the Wand of Ice Storm. Yeah, I have nothing here. So screwed. It works on DOS Box, okay. Then yeah, you could definitely get it to run. Two magic missiles, oh yay. You have a potion of speed, you're gonna have to use it. Get a little closer first. You have nothing. Probably gonna have to use the wand of magic missiles here. And not the wand, the, the spell. Hit the cleric in the back where he casts. Begins casting. Oh boy. That's going to end up being an old person. Survive this round. The clerics. Got to hit that one one more time. Let's see. Uh, that's really going to help me. Okay, Bo, you should get two attacks now. Do some good damage. 12 damage. Uh, what scroll do you have? Neutralize poison. Uh, that's not going to help us. Sleep doesn't work. I keep looking at my things. I just don't have any, anything to work with here. It's down to random number generation now. Dimension door. That's not going to be helpful. Hit the cleric.
Nothing good on the scrolls. Nope. And Mr. Spock says, is the general rule of thumb in these games to try to out the spellcasters first? Yes. If they have disabling spells or offensive spells, yes. And they almost always do. A cold person can destroy your entire party in an instant. You lose half your party <laughs> with three holds. So it's critical to kill them first. Okay. Cleric's out of range. They have so many hit points to get through here, I don't see how I'm going to be able to do it. Trying to decide if I want to hit this one. Let's kill this one first. Okay, we get one more attack now. Okay, that worked well. 16 hit points, he's in trouble. I need to kill this one and get backed up somehow, but I'm not going to be able to do that because I keep flooding in after Crusher. I think I have a cure on my cleric. He has a cure too, but he can't reach. You don't. Okay, here we go. He survived that time. Thunder's down to two hit points. We can't let him die either because he's a uh, elf. If he dies, it's oh, you don't have any healing. If he dies, it's game over for him. He can't be raised from the dead. Healing potion. Well, you have one, but it's not extra healing, so I can't use it on Thunder. Okay. Well, he went down. That's okay. He didn't. He didn't die. He didn't take enough damage to die. Tomatic says if the Forte makes it, it's going to be close for sure. Yeah, and this is just one battle. I can't rest. That's the problem. I can't get I can't get out of this area. That's the whole problem I'm having. Crusher is about ready to go down too. Those crusher bandage. Okay. Dang, they just have so many hit points to get through. And I'm having a really hard time hitting them. Try fumble. Spell magic does me no good. Come on, kill this guy. Sivax have so many hit points or uh, so many attacks. Rest in temporary peace, Mr. Spock said. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, civics down. Now we just got three more evil champions. Nineteen hit points on bow. I'm tempted to move my mage up there too. Man, I just can't hit. Ridiculous. They go of 13, hitting armor class 1. I should have about a 40% chance to hit. And it seems like I only have like a 20% chance. Yeah, we got to bring the mage in. Or start taking some hits. Bo's haste had to have worn off because he's he's not hitting at all anymore. P Forte goes down, bandage. This is absurd. on bow. <laughs> he surrendered. 2600 experience for the ones that are still standing. But I can't rest. So this is where I'm at. If I take two steps, I'm going to get encountered. And I can't fix. I have no healing spells. It could not be any worse. Than what it is right now so i'm almost i'm 95 percent sure i'm going to be party wiped here in a minute guys here unless by miracle it allows me to rest yeah thanks mr spock i need it I definitely need a miracle on this rest. Which, so far, I have not been able to rest, even for over an hour. So, doubtful. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're done. It's game over. Game over. If I run, uh, they are dead. Their bodies are left. Actually, they're not even dead. They're gone if I run. And I have three hit points, 14, 25, and 35. No magic. It's <laughs> it's GG. I might as well just quit, quit here. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter where I rest, Tom Addict. I've tried resting in rooms in this place. You can't rest anywhere. It's... uh. And if you take two steps, you get encountered. And then you can't even leave the place. Because there's a giant army guarding the exit. This is just absurd. Hey, Boxy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, party's dead. <laughs> Tom Maddox says it. He shows some tears, or uh, Boxy shows some tears for the party. And Tom Maddox says, I knew you were watching Boxy. He was mainly listening, but watching occasionally. Mr. Spock said, It'd be easier if you could level up without going into training. Exactly. That's one thing that drives me nuts about DD that you just don't have instant. Level ups that you have to go to a trainer. It makes no sense to me. Tom Maddox survived to the end. He did. The Hom character is still alive till the end. <laughs> well, 
Uh, we don't have much we can do here. We'll just we'll just go down fighting. No hold persons got memorized. Bo has three hit points. I do have a potion. He has some potions of extra healing. So let's use some of those. Let's try to silence the clerics. Cast on him. It didn't work. Wow. So silence was a complete waste of a turn. Okay. And we know that all we have on that scroll is neutralized poison. <laughs> Sparkle's going to be the first to go down. Give it everything you got, Captain, Mr. Spock says, yeah. Which isn't much. <laughs> just I don't have much to give. Bo's already just using that potion extra healing has already got injured so much that it was like a waste of turn. <laughs> this area was much too hard for my party level. Hey Thunder, you've got nothing. Maybe you can at least take out the cleric before you drop dead. Nope. Here comes a whole person, guys. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Dimension door. You know what? I'm not going to give them the uh, satisfaction of being able to kill me. Let's get Ham out of there. <laughs> we'll quit. We'll quit with just Ham if possible. Bo and uh, who's the other character? He doesn't even get to thunder. We'll hold off while Ham gets away. Ham got away. Ham, you survived. <laughs> He's going to be the only party member watch. Oh, where's the rest of the party? <laughs> They're gone. Oh, that's a bad situation for you, Hum. Wouldn't it be funny if we could somehow get out of here with, like, invisibility or something? That That's right, Bo. You did the sacrifice. Uh, let's see. Stinking clouds. Magic missiles. He rested 10 minutes. 10 minutes and got encountered. <laughs> Let's see where the exit is. This is the same. It's the exact same map. That's weird. Let's see if he can get away still. I don't know what kind of a uh, speed they have. I'm got away again. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, have you ever rebuilt after an escape like this? Yes, I actually have in Pool of Radiance. Uh, I totally rebuilt my whole party. I think I lost, I don't remember how many characters I lost, but yeah, they were just gone. And I rebuilt either all of them or except one, or maybe I had two characters. I don't remember, but I ended up still dying because I had lost so much experience from that because you get experience with treasure. So, uh, yeah, we were 
totally screwed. And this game's even worse for trying to get experience. All right, well, save. Oh, and look at this. Just add insult to injury. We have to actually look up copy protection before we quit with just Han. Page one, word five. Action. Quit. I'm stealthy. <laughs> and Mr. Spock says, yeah, it seems like the deck is stacked against you. Yeah, see, and I'm not looking at a strategy guide or a walkthrough or anything. If, if I was doing something like that, it'd probably be a lot easier because I would know which areas I could go to. You know, like that was probably, I, I would see it was too hard. I didn't know that, you know, I just, play, playing it blind, I had no idea. Yeah, I was all the way to the exit. I was all the way to the exit, but then there's this large army there. What the? That's just brutal. That was brutal, Bo. Had there not been the random encounters every two to four steps, I think I would have been okay. But I thought I think I fought if I go back and watch, I bet I fought by the time I started going into that area. Fifteen random encounters like that where I couldn't rest. So I endured about fifteen of those battles before they finally took me down. Mr. Spock says, is it possible to just stay in an easy area and grind in these games? Yeah, there, it is possible, but it would it would take hundreds of battles because you don't get much experience. So yeah, you could do it, but oh my gosh, it would take hundreds of battles. The amount of time wasted. I just can't, I can't, uh, it's too boring. I'm not going to do that off stream, and I certainly wouldn't put people through that on stream. That'd be just so boring just doing that all the time. <laughs> okay, well, second failure of Champions of Kren. I'm not starting Kren again. So I'm tempted. Could go into a different one. See, Curse, I fa Wait a minute. Did I beat Curse? I did, didn't I? I did. Yes, I Iron Man Curse successfully. So, Who of Radiance, Curse took five tries. I hate to say it. I could start with Secret of the Silver Blades. Oh, the thought of doing those mines. Don't really want to do that. Uh, Mr. Spock says, oh, <laughs> Nomadic says Hillspar and Taunt Kipper. No, I can't do Hillspar. I can't do it. It's so bad. Nomadic says it was easier in pools, I think. Yes, pools is so much easier because you get way more treasure. So you got tons of experience. Yeah. Uh, Bo says Warriors or Eternal Sun Sega Genesis. I wouldn't even know how to start a Sega Genesis emulator. I did it like two years ago. I think it was on my laptop. I don't even have one on my desktop. But uh, yeah, Mr. Spock says Savage Frontier. I actually was playing that. I think I just... I think I just stopped playing it. I'm pretty sure my party did not die. I think it was just kind of getting a little bit boring. Let me see. And I was Iron Man in it. I wasn't, you know, cheating or anything. Let me see where I was at. 
Oh, even this has copy protection. Page 10 of the journal, line 2, word 2. Or let me see what my last save game file was. Save. Looks like A. I think I didn't know where to go or something. Why do I? Oh, I have someone in my party named B. Forgot about that. So we have a ranger, paladin. Oh, that's right. This paladin rolled 1800 strength. I totally forgot about that. Tomax says, and you can grind that game if I am correct, using stinking clouds in the overhead against hill giants. Yeah, that's a good point, Hamedic. That would work. <laughs> Says Tim says, Buck Rogers, Iron Man. Oh gosh. No way. That's that's the hardest. That first Buck Rogers is the hardest. There's no way I'm gonna attempt that. Tom X said that'd be cool too. Yeah, it yeah, no way. That game is ridiculous. It's so hard. Mr. Spock says, I don't think I watched a Buck Rogers play it. Really? Yeah, I streamed that quite a bit. Uh, he was a temporary character, Bo thinks. B? Hmm. I thought it was because I made a mistake, like when I was typing the name, I accidentally hit B and I just left it. I don't remember. Okay, guys, I mean, I'll try. I, I'll try a Buck Rogers Iron Man if you want me to, but I'm I'm probably not even going to make it through one session, maybe two at the most, because healing is such a major problem in that game. <laughs> Mr. Bad Stats. Yeah. No, that, that's incredible stats there. Look at that. This is a fighter magic user. Fighter magic user cleric. Man, these guys have good stats. Oh yeah, Crabbish. I remember that guy, that crappy NPC that joined. Bo says do it. Dying is always fun. That's crazy, but sure. Yeah, I mean, what whatever you guys think. Homatic says, well, I can sleep safe now. I know I passed the current game. <laughs> yes, Homatic can drift as a magic user, hiding forever in Kren land. Survived. <laughs> Have a good night, Homatic. So take a vote, guys. Tell me either Buck Rogers or uh, Gateway will continue the Gateway of Savage Frontier. <laughs> Tom Attic bravely ran away. <laughs> he did. He got away. Twice. Twice. Just the satisfaction of knowing the computer did not defeat me. And that I did not get the monsters rejoice. That that alone is rewarding. <laughs> All right, since nobody said anything, I guess we'll just continue this. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Is there anything down here? Wild boars. We got away. Sales Tim says, so what happened to your companions, um, er... <laughs> Where are you going, says Tam? When I got party wiped? Mr. Spock's willing to watch anything. Gold Box are my favorite, so anything in that series is good. And Bosa's is good. All right. So I'm just wandering around aimlessly. I don't know where I'm going. 
Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh, here we go. This is what Homatic was talking about. These actually give pretty good experience. 16 damage. Ouch. Okay. Is that it? Just three of them? Sastam says, no, forgot the quotes. I'm totally out of the loop, Sastam, sorry. And Bo says, you've gotten away. Is that correct to grammar? <laughs> I don't know. How are they surviving those boulders? I know. Getting slammed with a boulder, 16 damage. See, I did shoot this one. <laughs> Sad Stam's like, that's okay. You're hopeless, D Forte. He didn't say that, but that's probably what he's thinking. The person's not gonna work. Here comes the boulder. Got a magic missile on this guy. This is my ranger. He should do extra damage against giants. Where are they? Stinking cloud. One, two, three. That will reach one of them. Right here. This has more like a an Atari sound effect. That's one thing that was a bummer was I couldn't, uh, they changed the PC speaker sounds, or at least in DOSBox I couldn't get it to work right. I'm pretty sure I tried it. Yeah, I did. I tried it on a virtual machine too and I could not get the sound to be uh, like the old Pool of Radiance sound. And I didn't want to do Sound Blaster, because I hate this death sound. So we get Atari sound effects. I think I'm going to stick with this. Mr. Spock says, oh yeah, I remember that. So sad, PC speaker is so much better. I know. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Wow, Krevish, getting some hits there. Oh, delay. Yeah, 1,000 experience, that's not too bad from all this gold. I'm pretty sure I don't need money. Well, actually, maybe I do. I look like I'm pretty broke. wonder what I spend my money on. Let's see if we can rest here. I like how it remembers the spells you had memorized. That's cool. Okay. 
Oh, it looks like there's a town over here. Seacomber. To the west is the unguarded western gate leading out of Seacomber. To the south, a dyed linen sign hangs above the door, emblazoned with the words, Inn of the Eccentric Owl. Okay. I have to get used to this engine again. Guess we don't need to go in the end. Anthema's Armory. Implements of war and for men of peace. all kind of junk. They do have composite longbows. I don't know the difference, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it has the same they go and damage. So longbow, they go 13, 1d6. They go 1326. So the only thing I can think of is maybe this can shoot farther. I don't know. I hope it has some kind of benefit. Sir Percy, what do you have? Sell this and buy a composite. You're carrying around plate mail. Cleric fighter. Mr. Spock says funny because anthema means someone who vehement vehemently dislikes. <laughs> I did not know that. Better magic user. What is this? Wow. I have all multi class characters. Oh, I didn't need that. We'll give it to Krevish. I had a plus one composite already. Okay. Let's get him some better armor. We have banded. Yep. Did his armor class just go up? I don't think so. Crudely lettered sign has been posted on the wall here. Recorded in journal is entry 48. It says the signs at Seacomber. The road and river to the east have become very dangerous. Go only if you need to and try to travel with a strong group of experienced adventurers. Signed, Selarn. Boat rentals. You shudder to think what has befallen the owners of this tiny home. One thing is certain, the creatures bearing down upon you 
from across the room are not normal, normally residents of Sacoma. Those look like gnolls. They are. Why did that knoll not get an attack? Is that the paladin thing? For some reason I think the paladin's protection from evil has a weird effect, if I remember right. Yeah, I don't know if that's a bug or what. Look at that. They just lose their turn. And then the second round they get a go. Yeah, every other round they're losing their turn. Sturz Box says, I hate armory. <laughs> Ravish, always taking his share. Uh, arrows. It's a lot easier to rest in this one. I don't have to memorize all the spells and everything. The house to the north is as bizarre as the rest of Sacomber. It is picturesque. It has several mismatched spires, and each room has been painted a different color on the outside as well as within. Okay, it won't let me go in there. Weird. Feels like a ghost town. Oh, we just left. Okay. There's nothing there. This guy looks like there's something on the water there, doesn't it? I think it's just a glitch. Okay, let's try loud water. Good place to rest if need be, Mr. Spock says. Yeah. That's odd, says Molly. When I've passed this way before, there were always guards at the gates at Loudwater, but now there's no one here. Gee. The Woodlands Inn. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh, they let us rest. You may rest now. Nothing to fix. Okay. You shouldn't be out on the streets. The black-robed men are looking for someone, and no one in Loudwater is safe until they find them. A graceful stone bridge arches over the river, shining to the east. Valgamon's forces rush to the attack. Who's Valgamon? Whoa! Holy moly. What? They weren't kidding. <laughs> wow, an entire army we're facing again. With manacores. 
Yay. Let's see, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think I have Fireball on any of my characters. They're all too low level. This is ridiculous. I do have a Wand of Ice Storm somewhere. Old person. These mana cores can shoot. All these can shoot. It's more class seven because they're coughing. Let's go for them. I yeah. Man, it's mana cores. They only have six spines, and then they'll run out of balance. This is going to be annoying. Three hits, wow. This better you level you up, Mr. Spock says. Yeah, if I can complete it. It's not looking good right now. Yeah, shoot Kravish. <laughs> uh, who has the wand? How many hit points? 24. Mr. Spock says, if you kill half your enemies and run off, can you come back and face the other half, or do they come back full force? Pretty sure it's full force. Either that or the battle just won't be there anymore. There it is. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer to make sure we can hit all these. Wow, they only had two arrows, I guess. That's good news. Manicor's already shot all their six things, spines. Still have another old person. Uh, 
build Eighteen hit points, that's exactly what I needed on some of those fighters. Take them down. Wanda Vice Storm saves the day. Yeah, it doesn't have many charges, but man, when we can use it, it saves the day. We still have it. I'm not going to use it again. Let's cast a magic missile. surrendering. Well, some of them are. Huh. Only one surrendered. Looks like with this engine, each monster has a uh, has their own morale check. It's not for the everyone in the army, which is interesting because that's not how the other games are. Usually, it's the entire army decides to surrender or not. Eighteen hundred experience there. Oh, that's why. Huh. Tons of gold. Let's just make sure none of this is magical. And B's ready to level up. I like how it shows in purple so that we know that. One of my guys actually had splint mail. Yeah. Drop. We'll take either banded, and if they don't have banded, we'll do plate. Because splint mail results in only six movement. So does plate mail. So plate mail is uh, one better, so we might as well use that. You look around and Valgamon is nowhere to be seen. Apparently he fled as the tide of battle turned. Oh, a surrendering fighter named Rishpal steps forward. Lord Valgamon left us here to die while he saved his worthless life by running away. I want revenge and I know where you can complete your mission. What say you? Accept. Our mission was to stop you from getting to Lork. It must be there that your quest would take you. It is my home and I know the town quite well. So how come he's so much weaker than the guys I just fought? <laughs> Mr. Spock says that's kind of neat, individual surrenders. Yeah, it is. 
Let me go back and see if I can rest at the end. Nice. Okay. Let's move Rishpel up front. <laughs> he, he can uh, be a sacrifice. I'm sure there's not going to be a training hall here. Voices suddenly shot from around the corner. They're down here. I just saw them. This way, this way. Footsteps of guards come pounding down the street as they rush to the attack. Well, that's a lot smaller of an army. We're carrying so much gold now. We're really overloaded. Manicor got stinking cloud. See if this guy ends up walking this rip shell in, in the stinking cloud. He probably will. No, he didn't. Wow. I'm surprised. Three hundred. Percy should be able to pick this up, I would think. Yep, eighteen zero zero strength. <clears throat> okay. Actually, all I did was cast Thinking Cloud. I don't need to go back and rest for that. Let's say the river shining curves northward here. It's swift water sweeping noisily below you. Several nervous-looking guards stand up ahead, continually glancing over at the archway to the southeast. One of them sees you and begins to shout, and they all seem to feel relieved even as they run to attack the party. I don't understand that, what that's supposed to mean. Okay. 
They like their mana cores, Mr. Spock says. Yeah, they do. That mana cores. <laughs> mana cores are interesting creatures. They're quite bizarre. Travis, how many arrows? Yeah, you've been using a lot. In fact, I'm almost tempted to get you plate mail. And then this other fighter, he has, well, he does have bandit mail. He doesn't have a bow, though. Let's get him a bow, a long bow. You have plenty of arrows. Above this archway is a brass plate in which the following words are etched. When the last bow's been taken, and the waters run no more, this is where I'll take my rest till the forest greens restored. Single word mausoleum is carved on the stone above this door. Undead, perhaps? Let's do lesser prayer if I have it. There we go. This party comes around the corner. Another party coming around the opposite direction meets you. Unfortunately, only one of the parties is alive. <laughs> So those are ghouls, I believe. They can paralyze us. Yep. They only have 10 hit points, but that paralysis is uh, almost an instant kill. Let's see if we can turn. Wow. Wow, we turned them all. And you actually get experience for turning them. That's cool. Nothing in here. Wandering undead attack. Turn. Nothing happens. Turn. Okay. Nice. 63 experience. You cough as your eyes and nostrils are assaulted by a cloud of noxious, putrid-smelling dust. In the middle of the dust cloud, there is a glint of steel. Zombies? That's actually weaker than the uh, ghouls. Mr. Spock says, there is also a lawful good mana core type called a Lamazu. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. 
Mr. Spark says, not much experience, but at least the battle wasn't tough. Yeah. Earn. Free experience, it's like super quick. 85. Oh, that time both my turns failed. No. There goes Ren. Stinking cloud does not work. Yeah, that par paralysis is insane. Oh, there's R Rish Pal. He's dead. That's why I hate fighting ghouls. Okay. All for 70 experience. At least the fix command makes that quick. Okay. Over there. I thought they'd try to circle around this way and get behind us. You hear a voice proclaiming triumph. The hidden guards with a chain manticore in tow fall upon the party. Same old, same old. At least we're able to rest here. experience. Okay. Right. Here we go. Shop of Adventure Supplies. Items for sale. I actually want to buy something so I can consolidate my money. Oh, holy water vials. Glass of oil. I should buy that one guy, this ripshaw bunch of glass of oil. Computer seems obsessed with them.
2d6 damage. It is kind of cool that you can have a shield equipped at the same time you throw those. Yeah, now we have platinum. That makes it a lot, a lot less weight. Mr. Spark, yeah, yeah, they can be used as weapons. They do 2d6 damage. You can only throw one at a time. But even clerics can throw that. So it's a good weapon, ranged weapon for cleric. It doesn't go very far, but it's a lot better than a staff sling. And uh, if you kill trolls with it, the trolls won't regenerate, which is also cool. Are you kidding me? I just left. Okay, at least coming in on that side makes me come in the same place that I left. That's good. You shouldn't be out on the streets. Yeah, we've heard that before. Several gnolls are resting against the far wall, breathing heavily. They'll never find us here, one proclaims. I think you're wrong, says another. Pointing to the party, the gnolls jump to their feet and attack. Mr. Spock says, works like a grenade, sounds like. Yeah, it doesn't do area of effect, unfortunately. I wish it would, or at least create like an Ultima 6 where it creates a fire field. And that fire field would stay there for a while, but it doesn't do that. It's just a straight damage and then it's gone. Still cool and fun to play around with. See, I knew it. He threw the flats of oil. The computer loves to throw those for some reason. Like even if you have a bow, it'll throw the flask of oil. I like how it has its own little graphic though. experience. I'm not even going to take that. Yeah, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Search. Ooh, Ren has found a secret passage to the south. Oh, that's weird. So that just gets us through that door. Huh. Sure, I already went that direction. It's over there, yeah. Nothing in those. Sorry, I tried to mute my mic, but the button doesn't work all the time. Even though it clicks, it's defective.
Lots of empty buildings. Okay. Must have snuck around the tavern. Bold person for the win. Throwing the flasks of oil. Isn't it hit with a single one yet? sit on the floor counting out coins fighting up their ill-gotten gains mr. Spock says are the arrows in the game sold in bunches or is it cost per arrow yeah they're sold ten at a time so I think it might be like one gold per ten or something finding so many don't even really need to buy them cool found a passage to the north okay way, way to go crevish So that just took us out to the top there. The secret doors are kind of weird. Guards around the corner and come running up the street, one pulling a chain manacore. Man. Same counters.
He got to throw his uh, flask foil. Still missed. He walks into the stinking cloud. Oh, we hit with one. Seven damage. Oh, Rip Rish Powell's ready to level up. Let's turn on search. Look at these little trees in the water, and they're cut halfway off. The entrance to the compound of Lord Graysword, the leader of Loudwater, lies to the north. The gate has been barred and secured, so that even an army could not push through. There are no guards anywhere in the area. Okay. Without warning, guards rush around the corner. They release a chain manacore. Bob Ross trees, yeah. Happy little trees. Normally, you don't want to be walking around with the search command on like I'm doing, but there doesn't appear to be any random encounters here, which is nice, because that gets so tedious. Wow, there's nothing here. Mr. Spock says, if you do an all fighter party, what is your strategy against magic users? Well, there are a few area of effect items that fighters can use. So if you're fighting a bunch of magic users and you have like either a wand of ice storm or a, a necklace of missiles, 
you can hit a whole bunch with that. In fact, I have discovered that Necklace of Missiles actually bypasses magic resistance. At least it did in Curse of the Azure Bonds. And it also bypasses uh, Minor Globe of Invulnerability, so it's not really considered a spell. But if you don't have those items, fighters in the back should always try to shoot at casters that haven't cast in a round with a bow because you get two shots. Or if you have darts and they're close enough where you could throw darts at them, that's even better because darts you get three attacks per round. So all it takes is one point of damage to make it where they can't cast that round. And then if your fighters are in melee, have a few hammers in your party because you can actually throw those from melee range. It's the only weapon that allows that. Besides the hoopack. Hoopack you can shoot uh, in melee range, but that's a Dragonlance thing. It's only in Dragonlance. So those are the best strategies to deal with the casters. Uh, you have to hit them at least once per round. The other thing is if you know you're going to be fighting a big a bunch of casters in a battle, um, use potions of haste before that battle if you have them. But if you're playing like me, blind, where you don't know what's coming up next, you can't do that kind of thing. So that's about it. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, I'm keeping notes for when I finally start full of radiance. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, make sure to get some hammers. I'd have about five on each person. And then, of course, make sure you have bows. I think I did this room. Okay, I don't think I went north here. Building has been constructed here with the river shining, a graceful archway at its center, allowing boats to pass through safely. Carved wooden sign by the door says the tavern or the waiter waters. What'll it be? Here we go, guys. What'll it be in the tavern? Fight or leave? Mr. Spock says, is an all-ranger party something that can actually work or ranger heavy? Believe it or not, Mr. Spock, you can only have three rangers in the party. I recently discovered that. That's the only limitation that Gary Gygax put in D&D &D with having maximum number of characters. Paladins, you can have six. But for some reason, rangers, you can only have three. Uh, so yeah, rangers work well but they don't exist in Pool of Radiance if you're planning on starting with that. You only have fighters, magic users, clerics, and thieves. But yeah, rangers are pretty darn good. Paladin, in my opinion, is better. The problem with rangers in these games, they only end up getting a few druid and magic user spells like really late, and by that point they're pretty much useless yet they require a lot of experience to level up, like way more than fighters. So they don't get extra attacks until late in the game. Uh, they do extra damage against giants, which is great. But if you're gonna get a more elite character class, the paladins are just so much better because they have that aura of protection from evil, 10 foot radius, they can cure, they can heal once a day. They can get cleric spells later. So they're just better. But it's good to have mix. In general, in these games, when you mix more types, you do better. It's a lot harder to beat it with like one type of thing. So I guess we're in a brawl. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but it just is a brawl. Uh one fighter that's the brawl <laughs> this this is the brawl what the
I guess you could call it a brawl since we're all ganging up on one guy. That's <laughs> pretty silly. Okay. <laughs> 41 experience. Uh... Mr. Spock says, I'll experiment. If something's not working, I guess I can start over. Yeah, the other thing you can do is you could go to a guild or training hall, dismiss a character, and actually bring in a new one if you want. But yeah, experiment. It's a lot of fun. So then we just get kicked out. <laughs> Fight or leave. Boat rentals. Oh, that's a nice little touch. There's a little map up there in the upper corner. You can rent you a boat for 25 gold pieces. Sure, why not? Monty Python sketch. Love that art. Yeah, it's nice. Sure, where I'm going here. Oh, these are ant kegs. These are cool. Let's fight them. Where are they? It's just one. Oh, no, there's three. These are actually in Pool of Radiance. In the overhead map you can fight these they can spit acid I like the little sound effects. Their footsteps. Not want to spit acid. Maybe it's only when they hit you. I don't remember. I know the uh, giant slugs can spit acid. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe they these only do extra damage when they hit you. Acid. I still have the search command on. I cannot go too far from home. Okay, we'll go back. Stand in the boat. Uh oh. Look at this. We just got ourselves permanently stuck. Are you kidding me? It won't we can't get past the mountains. 
We can't go up into the water. Can't go that way into the water. That's a design flaw. <laughs> we are stuck. I have no idea the last time I saved it. I save fairly often, usually after each battle. But... I'm probably done for a night, but I just want to see where I last saved it. <laughs> Grunk says, hey, Grunk, how you doing? Says it's one-way water. Deeper the other way, yeah. And I'll get, let me do this just so I can see where I saved it last. Yeah, I've never experienced that before. Those watching, don't do what I just did. Page 10. Line 2. Including the headings for 2. Okay. So, I only lost that one battle. That's okay. Nice to have a teleport spell. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Unfortunately, there isn't one. But yeah. Okay, guys. Well, lost our friend game, but this one's going fine. Until I go into an area that's too strong for me, like I did with Kren. <laughs> Yeah, my pleasure, Mr. Spock. Thanks for the chat, guys. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did. I'll see you next time.